Welcome back to Colleen Cosplay. We are going to be painting the Northern Lights on my Elsa Cosplay. Now, we painted this with just a flat black acrylic paint, allowed that to dry. And then on top of that, I've put all different kinds of transparent colors. I've put some, right in here, some alizarin crimson, over in here, some phthalo green. I will be not using a flat black acrylic canvas. I'll be using this purple satin-y fabric. So if this is all ironed and is masking taped down to cardboard with newspaper on top because I would like to get the security deposit back on this house so I do not want to get paint all over the floor. So let's have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint this project with me. And I think today we'll do some northern lights. So come on up here and let's, let's get started. I'm using tulip fabric paint for all of this. I have either the slick or the glitter. Let's also roll these off the camera. I'm going to use the old fan brush today. It's sort of take, and you can just, on this black canvas, you can draw in some basic shapes. I'm not going to be able to draw in stuff with the fan brush on fabric. So we're going to go back to the start of the tutorial and they didn't have a lot of black in stock, so I'll be using mostly this, I think, royal blue with some of this, like, glitter in it, and then black to, like, darken it down. So let's kind of mix that together and then cover the um, dress with that, and then we can go back with the fan brush. Oh, wait, no, I'm not supposed to put the bowl on there. Oh, boy. So now we have our black canvas ready. And if you've never seen the Northern Lights, a lot of times they're in what they call curtains or just layers. Here's the fan brush. This is what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> okay, it probably looks like nothing from up there and it doesn't look like much from down here either. Start with the old fan brush, go right into titanium white. Decide where these curtains or these lights are gonna be and just begin tapping, see? All I'm doing is just tapping and tapping the color in and make your basic shapes just very basic shapes. And we have one coming right across here. And I'm just tapping titanium white on there. Now then, this is where the fun starts. Stop, before the fun. Before the fun, let's let's get this Northern Lights thing figured out, because right now it does not look like Northern Lights. How do I get over there? How do I, ugh. Uh. Let's take a one inch brush. And I'm gonna begin grabbing this and lifting it upward. Just grab it and pop it. Just pop it up. Okay, there we go. Now already you can see it begin picking up some of the different colors. I might have to uh, redo the base a little. This stuff is drying faster than I remember it drying. And here, like so. Let's grab this one, lift it up. God was really having a good day when he made Alaska. Now then, I'm going to take the two inch brush and go all the way through this and lift up all the way through. You have sort of a lavender feel in here and blue in here. Over here, there's a little phthalo green mixing with a phthalo blue. So I'm quickly realizing the different properties of fabric paint and acrylic paint. Because with fabric paint, it kind of dries and you're just done. Okay, that's, that's how it works. You're supposed to like heat bond it and you're done. And with the acrylics, this is supposed to like pick up some of this stuff. And it's not so so we're just gonna take this into our own hands so I'm gonna take like this really bright blue and the purple and I'm going to like lay them out like we laid out the white with the fan brush and then pull those up too because right now it's not picking up any color from the base only from the white so let's try that and now let's pull that up. Yeah! And no painting of Alaska would be complete without an almighty mountain. Take a little bit of black. I don't have his knife thing. I looked all over Joanne's and it was not there. And I guess I don't have a plastic butter knife either. So I'm gonna try using the handle of the spoon. It looks kind of similar, you know? Pull it out flat, cut across, get that little roll of paint right on the edge of the knife. 
Okay, let's go up here. You have to make a big decision. Where does your mountain live? Maybe right there. Okay, I need to like... Okay. The like spoon part of the spoon was kind of in the way. Then go take a large brush, grab it, and pull. This just basically removes excess paint. The more of this paint that you can get off, the easier the next layer is to stick. So take off all of it that you can get off. Spend all day just playing there. Okay, let's use our old knife. We'll go into titanium white and a little bit of blue. You know what, let me make another <laughs> painter's knife. Okay, painter's knife. <laughs> come across, get that little roll of paint right down to the edge of the knife. Okay, let's go back up here. Now then, let's have some snow just coming right down the side of this mountain, wherever you want it to go. No pressure, no pressure at all. Let it go. So honestly, this is not turning out that great. When I started using the handle of this plastic uh, stuff to do it, it all started kind of going downhill, but let's see. No pressure, just let it barely caress the canvas. What? Just begin laying in all kinds of little things, see? His mountains look nothing like my mountains. Ugh. Okay, I think I need to restart this again. This is like my third time doing the mountains. The Northern Lights took me twice. And just begin laying in all kinds of little things, anywhere you want. A little ridge, just drop it in. This is your painting, your world. You can do anything that you want. Okay, that's not working. Now we can take this one and pull it distinctly through and it pushes that one right back. <laughs> Did you know you had that kind of power? Got a happy little peak right up there. As many or as few as you want in your world. So, these are my mountains. You know, they're not bad, um, but there are a few things that I'm, because I'm using a different medium, it's just not working that well. So one, there's like a wrinkle in the fabric, like I can't lay it out perfectly. Two, fabric paint's not acrylic paint. Just take a clean, dry, two inch brush, and I'm gonna gently, gently tap, following the angles in the mountain. Always follow your ankles. So on top of all the other things I mentioned, I'm getting like fingerprints and like blobs of paint randomly throughout here just because it's so hard for me to like reach over. Like my knees aren't too good so I can't sit on my knees and it's hard for me to stand up and walk around. So I'm like, Gah! Let's find us a fan brush. I think we'll just go right into this mixture we had before. We made the mountain with it. Let's go back up here. Maybe there's some happy little trees live back here. These are far away and all we're looking for is just little indications. So these are my trees. Where have I gone wrong? Ah, they're just blobs. Those aren't trees, they're blobs. They're not even happy. Ah! All there is to it. There we go, not easy we got. Happy little evergreens living way back here in the distance, all the way across. So this part of the skirt had pretty much nothing on it, so I made uh, trees. Those are trees, by the way. You can tell, obviously, that they're trees. So I'm gonna keep following the tutorial with the trees on this side of the skirt instead of under the mountains, because obviously I can't put anything like under the mountains. So the trees are over here now. Now to add the white. Touch, pull straight up, very lightly, very lightly. Just enough to create a little little light area down here at the base of these trees. So I'm still gonna put like the mist in over the trees. Oh gosh, I'm getting rid of my trees when I do that. Now then, I want some, I want some bright things happening here. So I'm gonna take this and begin pushing upward to create just some happy little grassy areas back here. Maybe there's one out there. We'll have this one go up. Just sort of make a decision, let it happen. 
Yeah, I want a happy little reflection to live right underneath here. Underneath? All you need is white. All you need is white because the color is already on the canvas. Let's pull it straight down. Okay, so it's been a few hours now, not 30 minutes. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move some of the trees up a little just cause there's like nothing in this part of the skirt. And then I'm gonna bring the reflection up a little cause I'm probably gonna have to hem this. And if I hem this, I'm gonna lose like a lot of my drawing, painting. Where am I? What day is it? What time is it? What's happening? <gasps> and then I think we can go to the next step. But I've been doing this since like four and it's like seven, 7.30 now. So. I'll tell you what, let's, let's play a little. The blue and the black on the fan brush. Maybe right here lives an evergreen that's a little bigger and he lives right out there. We'll give him a little friend. We don't want him to be lonely. Ta da! So basically, the entire last half of the tutorial was stuff like even further down here, or stuff like so far in the foreground, like a giant tree, which just isn't working that well for a skirt. And this tree army made it really hard to paint anything else. Ah, I'm so tired. Uh, so yeah, here's my painting. It's great. <laughs> I skipped like the last half, but I got, there's Northern Lights, there's mountains, and there's a lot of trees. So I think this was still like kind of a success. So uh, let's see how it looks, uh, how it looks on as a cosplay. This did not work very well due to the differences in the, the tools, the paint, the surface, and the skill level. And yet, I'm going to do this again. So check out part two where I follow another tutorial for the back half of the skirt, because at this point I'm committed. Yeah, let's do this again. Thank you guys for watching and uh, happy painting.